Hey there, welcome back and uh, uh, we are going to build uh, our actual uh, bond system and our armature for the rigify. So, uh, if you have not enabled uh, uh, rigify in rigify add-ons, so you can just uh, find and uh, just turn it off uh, rigify so you can see so now uh, we are all set and now press shift a and then add a single bone and then go to edit mode and uh, just delete it and uh, let me show you. I just already have some bones so we ha will have to add uh, our uh, now if we go into our uh, uh, armature and go to our uh, uh, object data properties and now uh, it does not matter we have our bone or not we are just in the add mode, added mode of our armature so here first of all we are going to add our spine as i just usually you can see under the under the rigify buttons uh, there is a option uh, there is a option uh, that uh, we can add our uh, limbs uh, arms uh, tails and everything now we are going to just add uh, our uh, spine uh, such spine here you can see if we just uh, scroll click on this it will open our search bar and type in spine so i am going to uh, find a spine super head uh, spine super spine so I am going to add a super spine and then uh, just uh, going to uh, view per display of this ob uh, armature and then uh, in front uh, and uh, I am not going to just uh, turning on axis and names because we will n when we will enable them uh, when we will uh, need them so now if we press 3 and go to our side view and then uh, we can just uh, uh, place it our in our uh, mesh according to our mesh and then uh, rotate uh, minus 90 and then this uh, is going to be our uh, pelvis bone and this is our end of uh, the chain i think it is our uh, it is our uh, tail you can see it is our tail and actual um, spine starts from here and if we just select and uh, i want uh, it to be here and uh, further uh, the tail bone will be our tail will be from here to here and uh, I think uh, uh, here will be our uh, I want my last bone of uh, spine to be here and uh, we will all set here and then we will start building our our, our aligning our uh, bones to our body and you can see uh, the method main method of aligning this bone is the same as it is uh, i am showing it is our uh, spine it's our head bone and uh, i am going to just bring uh, our head head bone uh, to here and now uh, this is our neck and uh, i am just uh, I think I just extruded a bone and now uh, we are going to just align th these bones also uh, you can see we are aligning our bones and uh, I am going to subdivide it and uh, I think it should be moved on, on the right side and uh, 
pen here and uh, I am going to press shift S cursor cursors to select it and then shift S selection to cursor now they are aligned uh, if we want to just subdivide it we can subdivide it and uh, we will change we can change uh, this setting later uh, in the series and uh, I want uh, uh, more bones here and because it is neck it should be uh, more uh, of uh, it should have some more controls and uh, now it's time to align our uh, uh, tails tail uh, I think uh, I just have to make it here or place it here uh, and then uh, press L and uh, it will select all the related bones and then go to and just uh, make it uh, in big enough to uh, compensate or to fit our uh, tail and now uh, when we are done this uh, we are going to just subdivide these bones and I think uh, I am just uh, dividing these bones so that we can we will get some uh, uh, very nice uh, uh, I, I want more bones uh, on uh, here and uh, I think uh, we should uh, how much bones we have one two three four five six seven and eight if we divide this and now we will have much more bones and uh, I think I should have uh, so now our uh, bones are now how much bones we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten oh ten is okay and uh, now uh, go to pause mode and then check if connect chain option is on but first of all we just going to check if um, this uh, this uh, works so and uh, here in armature mode and uh, redefy buttons and now press generate read we have tail connect chain uh, so now let me fix this option uh, this error uh, because uh, here we set them uh, set uh, in our uh, uh, values uh, one minute and as you can see uh, let me delete this and uh, if we go to uh, bone properties uh, and uh, if we select armature and go to pose mode and and uh, then go to um, properties of the bone and then we can see redefine type and connect chain option we should have to uh, deselect it so it basically it is, it is saying that uh, these bones should be overlapping and connected uh, to each other so we have just uh, uh, we don't want we want uh, uh, to be our bones uh, not disconnected disconnected if you want it uh, later we can we will just snap it but for now I am keeping it like so because uh, we are testing this uh, rig and uh, I think we have uh, we are now done and uh, you can see uh, if we select our mesh and then uh, our generator you can press P and with the automatic weights uh, it is uh, take will time let it take some time and then if we go to uh, our pose mode and then start you can see we have uh, our uh, uh, mesh will start working and in front you can see uh, uh, this is what I 
thought but don't uh, worry if these things uh, this happens because uh, uh, we have to just uh, um, set our uh, uh, bone weight and uh, weight painting and we will fix them later and it is just testing for the uh, and uh, you can see uh, our uh, rig is working and another thing uh, uh, wow this is very nice and blended produces many very beautiful results and don't think if legs are uh, moving with uh, the body and uh, then we will select check cover uh, you can see now wow blender i love blender for this because uh, if blender had to be a girl uh, i would probably say i love you because blender is very 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 beautiful and very very nice producing in, in producing results so uh, now i think we are done with our uh, um, uh, we are basically we are done with our uh, chest and uh, i think spine tail and head bone